Hey, good morning, Mana Church. Welcome back to your morning, Mana. Um, I wanted to share something with you from Scripture. Um, it's something that Jesus says. It just really spoke to me, and, and I'm just, you know, trying to envision how this conversation went down with one of His most loved disciples. In fact, this is in um, the Book of John, chapter 21, um, and and Jesus is restoring Peter um, in this situation. So uh, I think everyone knows his iconic failure of, you know, before the rooster crows, you're going to deny me three times, and. And, and here Jesus just kind of redeems that whole situation, starting in verse 15, uh, when they had eaten breakfast. So um, this is talking about up before the enemy, guys. I look forward for the next time that we can actually gather in Waffle House. It's gonna be a great time eating breakfast together. Um, Jesus asked Simon Peter, Simon, do you love me more than these? So more than the other disciples, do you love me? He says, yes, Lord. He said to him, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. A second time he asked him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord, he said to him, you know that I love you. Shepherd my sheep. He asked him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter grieved that he asked him a third time, do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. And um, at a glance, you know, it, it seems simple, but um, I actually did a little word study looking at these, the multiple times that Jesus asked him, do you love me? The first two times, he uses the word agape, which is a godly love. It's the love that, that we have for one another as believers. Um, but the third time, he uses the word phileo. And, and this, this word's a little different. It's more of a, a friendly love. And, and when I look at that, I'm thinking like, wow, okay, there's a God love, but then there's a, a friendly love. Like, like, what are you really getting at here, Jesus? I, I wonder if, if there are places where God is, is asking you, do you love me as God? Do you love me as God? And I think any of us would answer that question just like Peter. Well, of course, you're God. You're, you're, you're the provider of all things. You're the Almighty. Of course I love you. But then God asks you, do you love me as your friend? Are, are, are we close? And I, and I think that's where it just really hits Peter that he thinks about all the places where God's been faithful, where he wasn't, <laughs> um, all the times where he didn't measure up to whatever pressure or expectation he put on himself. And he realized that, that God is just his friend. And, and he's willing to trade his perfect love for that imperfect love. So he replies, yeah, God, you know me, you, you know all things. And in that place, Jesus assures him that you will feed my sheep. I think it's from that place we can actually serve and love others when we understand that this is more about a relationship than simply rule following. It's about showing a love that you've already received. So be encouraged today, man of family, that, that God has exchanged his perfect love for your imperfect love. In places where you struggle to reflect the, the friendship and the love that he's given to you, know that he's already done it for you, that he will grace you to be a friend to others and to serve the people he's called you to. We love you guys. God bless. See you here tomorrow.